So I decided that I want to make my own throwing gauge. Went to my hardware store, picked up some supplies. I wanted something that clamps to my wheel head with two arms that is adjustable. And the main reason, I typically weigh out my clay and use a ruler when I'm throwing. I want a throwing gauge so that I'm not pulling it too high or too wide, not having to cone the piece back in. As you're throwing, you know exactly where it's going. And that clay that was meant to be in the piece to give it that weight and that substance isn't lost because it was overthrown. So, I got some pieces from the hardware store. Let's check it out. So the first step is going to be cutting our arms. Take a moment to measure at your wheel head and figure out how long your arm is going to be. I went with a 10 inch arm that attaches to the C-clamp with a 12 inch arm that is going to be my marker. Next we're going to be drilling holes for our bolts. Put both pieces of wood together, drill down through. The first arm is going to have a single hole while the second arm is going to have a slot. My slot I'm going to make about 3 inches. You can make this by drilling a bunch of holes side by side and then using the drill to kind of bore it out. Take your time when you're doing this. Next we're going to cut the angle on the marker arm. I decided to go with about a 30 degree angle. Once that's cut, we need to drill one final hole through the C-clamp. I'm through. Now that we've got all our pieces, we're going to quickly put this together and test it out on the wheel. So we got our little gauge made. Little C clamp here. So this arm is adjustable. We have another carriage bolt and wing nut here. So this arm is adjustable. And also drilled out a slot there as well. So this arm is adjustable in and out. So we're gonna go hook it up on the pottery wheel. See how it fits on there, see how it clamps on. Um, let's go check it out. So I've actually never thrown with a throwing gauge before. I've always used a ruler, measured out my clay. So there'll probably be some things that have to change along the way as I throw with this and attempt different things. Right now, it only has these two pivot points. It might be nice to be able to spin it this way. Super simple design. If you want to make one, let's go pick up some, some carriage bolts or any type of bolt, really. Maybe you have some laying around the garage. Uh, some wing nets and a little C-clamp to clamp to your wheel the, to the, the base in there. I intend to throw with this probably early next week, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, thanks so much for watching, and stay creative. Oh, we'll see how that works.